Gaffer, disappointing evening. How do you sum it up? Uh, yeah, it's the, the scoreline's um, not great. Um, we obviously wanted to uh, make up for for last Saturday's game and result, but um, you know we've uh, we started the game well. We were on the front foot. We turned the ball over loads of times. We we got in the box, but we couldn't find that little bit of quality we needed to to take the lead. And they score off their their first entry into our box. I think with a deflected shot that lands at the striker's feet. And um, but to be fair, the players responded well. They, they kept going right till uh, half time. Um, I thought they'd done well. I thought the supporters thought we, we did well in the first half, even though it was disappointed at one 0 But there, there wasn't a, a, a really bad reaction. I thought they saw that the players had, had tried hard and actually went about the game in the right way. Um, but uh, you know, we're just lacking in that, those um, final third moments to to get goals. It's, it's been apparent. Um, all season, I think, um, apart from one player last season, it was as well. Um, so it's something we have to get better at because um, it's hurting us. I think our defensive record has been um, pretty good this season, um, one of the top ones. But um, we just can't seem to get that um, that finishing touch when we have really good moments. Does it show tonight more than ever, and on Saturday, I guess, not just the lack of goals, but taking advantage of the periods of pressure that we do have and the chances that we do have on Saturday when they came along, we couldn't yeah. take them. And tonight, the first 10 minutes started well, and, and after their first goal, like you say, even tried to get back into the game and, and had good spells, but just couldn't find that goal. Yeah, it's, it's frustrating. It's, it's, um, but there weren't a lack of effort or commitment from the players, and that they kept getting into those areas. We got some decent balls into the box, and uh, we, but we just can't seem to either get across our defender, or when we do get the final touch, we can't seem to hit the target or beat the keeper. It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's quite a few um, sort of things that we have to improve on. But uh, you know, and then the, the, what it, what happens is it, it puts more pressure on the back lads. I think I think they start um, gambling a little bit with their defensive positions, trying to help their. The uh, the team score more goals or try, try to get goals and um, and then we give you know you know it's, listen they they don't need that much encouragement to score goals they they've scored nearly two hundred goals over the last two seasons so they they've got uh, massive attacking threats but there's certainly things we can do better on the on the goals without a shadow of a doubt when we look at them you know um, we're just I think we're just taking a a little bit of a gamble on our on our defensive positions and we've been harshly punished by um, good players. With that in mind, do you almost have to compartmentalise the past three games from a defensive point of view and the yeah. goals that we've conceded and just sort of park that and say, listen, we've been doing all right up to this point. It's yeah. just a case of taking the results as they are, putting them to one side and taking obviously what we can out of them, but making sure that we, we grow out of them to an extent going forward. Yeah, look, it's um, the... Uh I think I think we we were joint top of uh, clean sheets this season. You know our defensive record has been excellent, but then we can have a period like um, the Crawley game or, or Saturday's game where we just we sort of uh, lose our discipline a little bit and we can concede quickly in in, in succession. I don't think that was really the case tonight, but um, our defensive record and our defensive uh, display over the course of the season is certainly better than our league position, but our goal output. Is lower than our league position, you know. So that there's a there's a real imbalance there with um, what we're good at and what we're not. So um, it's 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 important that we we try our best to improve that from now to the end of the season to give ourselves a chance of finishing the season in in good manner and in good fashion and um, and work as hard as we can to improve the players that we have um, and um, and see where it takes us. But there's things that we we're doing well in games, but ultimately. You have to score goals if you want to win games, and that's uh, you know we've been in games where we've dominated and not scored. You know if I look previous to this week, you know the, the Wickham game here, that's just one of many where we've been on top, um, but we can't take our chances, and uh, I think it puts more pressure on our defensive side of it to um, um, you know it's, it's easier to be disciplined when you're in in the lead. You know all teams are like that, you know because you've got the you've got the lead. But when you're not, and it, it's game after game, or it seems like that, then you do take um, unmerited chances with stuff. And uh, and if the opposition is good, they've got the quality, then they punish you. And that's certainly what's happened in the in the last two games. We played the, I think the two highest scoring teams in the division, and they've shown why. Short trip to Harrogate on Saturday. Take confidence from certainly the Accrington game, the last away performance, and mm -hmm. the away form generally going into. 
a game away from home on the back of three home defeats in, in terms of the confidence that the previous away performances might give us? Yeah, look, we have to we have to um, work hard to find positives, you know, to to build upon, and um, I think the players tried their tried everything they could to try and win a game tonight, and um, we just weren't good enough to in on both sides of the game. Um, but like you say, the last time we played away from home, we had a, a fantastic victory. We uh, there will be things that we take from tonight's game. We there's things that we have to show and, and work on to improve. There's other things that we did well, but then you need that final touch to sort of justify the good play. Um, so we have to take all that, all the stuff, um, learn from what we could do better, but certainly not um, just hammer the players with a, a bunch of negativity and. Um, and, and get on top of them because they're they're feeling low, they're disappointed, they're frustrated. Um, but um, I, I just want them to keep showing the the right effort and commitment and um, and grind our way out of it. And it's the only way that we will get out of it. Is you know this this little run that we we've been on because prior to the break, you know the the, the unforced break, um, we're in really good form. You know we're we're the form team in the division, but um, unfortunately since the the semi final, it's been it's been. Um, a difficult, difficult month for us, but um, you get another opportunity in football and in life, and um, we have to go and take it.